Hi. Hi, Mary. Hi, Elsa. Hi, Gus. Are you excited for Vinyasa too? Hi, Spencer. Um, for Vinyasa too today. Hi. From Tokyo. I miss Tokyo. Hi, Jenny. Um, for today's class, I want to work on legs hamstrings and we're gonna try a front split and side split hi Yasmin hi I'm sure you're happy to see the cats hi Kremli Kremlina Kremlin hi Jessica so yeah so we're gonna work on the legs mm, some Trikonasana, warrior two, to work on the legs, and then after that we do um, something like a like active stretch instead of a normal stretch. Okay, active stretch, and then we're gonna try to go into a front split and then a side split. So just try your best. Oh, okay, Jessica. Sorry. So you're just gonna try your best, and you know that if you have injuries before, like like hamstring injuries, just take it easy, okay? Like I hurt my left hamstring before, so I'm gonna take it easy as well. I'm not gonna go all the way down, but it was a long time ago, okay? Um, and probably we, if we have time, I'm gonna try to do some ambulance, unbalancing as well. So it really depends. Um, okay, you just need one block. Okay, I'm gonna grab my block. Just keep the block around so you can use them whenever you need to. Okay, settle down and sit on your mat, comfortable seated position. My kids are ready. I do, can you see them? And I'm gonna turn off the comments, okay? So for like 50 minutes or so, you won't be able to comment. So I won't be able to see your, but I can see your heart. I'm gonna turn off the comments and just focus on the practice, okay? Right, so come to your comfortable seated position. Now, as usual, if you have tight hips, you are more than welcome to sit on the block. Sit on the block, cross-legged position. If the knees are very high, it's fine. You are totally fine, okay? If you can lower the knees down, just lower the knees down, it's fine as well. Soften the shoulders, placing the palms on the knees or on your thighs. And as you inhale, I want you to lift the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, push down to your sit bones, draw the belly in, and press the back of your head back. So you're not doing this. Okay, inhale, lengthen, shoulders down. Exhale, root down, pressing the back of your head back with the belly squeezed in firmly. Inhale, soften and lengthen. Exhale, rooting down, belly squeeze, pressing the head back. Like creating a double chin here. Okay, a few more deep breath here. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. So you can kind of like see me like creating a double chin here by pressing the back of my head back. Inhale. Exhale completely. One more. Inhale. Exhale completely. Now gently close your eyes and bring the palms together in front of your heart. You can set one intention for today's practice or just dedicate this practice to someone else. Now set up the intention and with that intention, you take a deep breath in. Exhale, bow your head down. Namaste everybody. 
Put the block to one side and let's step to your downward facing dog. Okay? So downward facing dog, the palm shoulder width apart. Press down to your index and the thumbs with the index uh, pointing straight forward. Thank you. And you're going to bring the feet hip distance apart. Press the belly all the way towards your legs. Bend the knees. Lift the heels up to the highest point. Think of melting the chest towards the floor or towards your knees. Inhale here. Fully expand the front of the body. And exhale, straighten the legs now. Feel free to round the back. Okay, inhale, bend the knees. Think of arching the back now. Slightly look forward in between your thumbs. So roll the shoulders down. Continue to press up to your index and the thumbs. And exhale, bums up. Straighten the legs. Look towards your kneecaps. One more. Inhale, melt the chest. Bend the knees. Look forward. And as you exhale, you're going to round the spine, push and straighten the legs. Okay, now look at your toes. Your heels are up, right? Lower the heels down towards the right side. And lean the chest forward like a plank pose with the heels spinning down towards the right side. Can you squeeze your bums, pull the belly in, push down to your left palm more. Push back to the downward facing dog, lifting the heels back up to the sky. Okay, look towards the toes, keep the feet hip distance apart. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, lower the heels down towards the left side. You're going to lean the chest forward. So squeeze the belly, squeeze the bums, push down to your right palm more, spread the fingers. Keep the neck nice and long. Spin the heels up, press back to the downward facing dog. Good job, guys. And you're going to stay here for five deep breaths, okay? Breathe for five. Nice and slow, four. Press down to your index and the thumbs, three. Two. And one. Heels up. Lower your heels down towards the right side. Okay? From here, you're going to push down to your left foot. So make sure the left foot is grounded. Can you hug your right thigh to your belly? Then from here, you're going to lean forward a lot. Step the right foot forward in between the palms. If you can only step in halfway like this, you use the right hand to move the right foot forward. Now, warrior two, open up. Squeeze the belly. Do not lean forward like this. Keep the shoulders stacked above the wrist. Tighten the left kneecap. Open the arms. Now, gently squeeze the shoulder blades and slide the shoulder blades down towards the back of the ribs. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Nice and easy. Don't go too deep. Exhale, easy side in the pose, right elbow above the right thigh. Now try to sit lower. You feel the right butt squeezing, left arm up over the left ear. Okay, we're not going to stay here for long. Inhale, come back up to your warrior two. And exhale, we move the palms on the floor. Right foot step back down with facing dog, feet hip distance apart. Pressing down to your palms, shoulder blades away from each other. Lift the heels up to the highest point. Now lower the heels down towards the left side. Okay, you're going to press down to your right foot firmly. Hug your left thigh to your belly. From here, squeeze the left thigh towards the chest. Lean forward. Ground the back. Left foot forward in between the palms. Like what I said just now, if you cannot step it forward, just wiggle forward. Okay, find your warrior two heel to arch over the arms. Sit low. Try not to lean forward. Step the shoulders above the hips. Squeeze the right leg more and sit even lower. Inhale, reverse the warrior, nice and easy. Exhale, easy side and your pose. Take your right arm above the right ear. From here, try to sit a little bit lower. Oh, bless you. Inhale, warrior two. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, when you the palms on the floor, step back to your downward facing dog. Okay, plank pose together. Lean forward now. Stack the shoulders above the wrist. Can you squeeze the bums, pull the belly in, bring the chest slightly forward, shoulders go past your wrists or your knuckles, knee, chest, chin, exhale. Cobra, inhale, pull the shoulders down, squeeze your bums and see how you feel. Downward facing exhale, tailbone all the way up. Still keeping the feet hip distance apart because we're going to repeat the warrior to step forward, okay? Now, 
heels are up, take a deep breath in. Exhale, micro bend the knees, melt the chest towards the floor. Slowly straighten the legs, lower the heels down towards the right side. Make sure the left foot is grounded. Hug your right thigh to your belly. Lean forward, step the right foot forward in between the palms, warrior two, come up. Sit low, squeeze the belly. Reverse the warrior, inhale. And exhale, easy side angle pose, elbow on the thigh, sweep the left arm over the left ear, come to your extended version. Inhale here, listen, left palm on the floor, left knee on the floor, your low lunge, bring your arms up towards the ceiling. Now in this low lunge, I don't want those people, those are flexible one. Try not to push the hips forward too much, not the back bend. I want you to push down to your left knee and pull the right heel in towards the left knee. So squeeze your bums, still pushing the hips forward and down. Now pull the right heel towards the knee. Pull the right heel towards the left knee and reach your both arms up towards the ceiling. So what you should feel here is, you should feel the right thigh is squeezing, including the right butt, and you're squeezing your left quads as well because you want to pull the left knee forward at the same time. Hold it, breathe, belly in for three, two, and one. Release hands on the floor, left foot forward, complete the forward fold. Stand up on the inhale, bring your both arms up. Exhale, palms to your heart center. Inhale, bring your arms up, forward, forward, exhale. Bend the knees, placing the palms down on the floor, step back to your plank. Lean the chest forward, knee, chest, chin, melt the chest down, stick the bums up. Cobra, point toes, squeeze your glutes or your bums. Downward facing exhale, keep the feet hip distance apart. Okay, bend the knees, melt the chest towards your mat first. Then you slowly, slowly straighten the legs by squeezing your kneecaps. Spin your heels down towards your left side. Make sure that the right foot is grounded. And pull the left knee to the chest. Lean forward now. Hug your left thigh a little bit higher. And step the left foot forward. Warrior two, open up. Sit low. Squeeze your left butt. Reverse the warrior. Sweep the left arm up and back. Easy side angle pose, left elbow above the left thigh, sweep the right arm over the right ear. So you know that you don't have a mirror like, like how we used to practice in the studio, right? Try to sit low, lengthen the right side of the body. Now inhale, right arm up, exhale, right palm on the floor, put the right knee down, your low lunge, bring your both arms up. Try not to sink onto the left heel. Now pull the left heel in towards the right knee. Right toes maintain top under. Arms are reaching up. Squeeze your glutes. Pull the belly in. Your arm is reaching up. Stay for three. Hop in more. Two and one. Release hands down. Right foot forward. Complete the forward foot. Stand up on the inhale. Bring your both arms up. Exhale. Palms to your heart center. Good guys, inhale, both arms up, forward, forward, exhale, place the palms down, so feel free to bend the knees so that you can push the palms down on your sticky mat, walk or hop back to your plank pose, chaturanga on knee, chest, chin, your choice. Now if you're doing the chaturanga, try not to bring the chest lower than the butt, yeah? lower the bums down, squeeze the bums, chest going higher, cobra, inhale, point, toes, squeeze bums, downward facing exhale, feet keep distance apart. Lift the heels up, lower the heels down towards the right side. Make sure the left foot is pressing down. Hug your right thigh to the belly. Lean forward. Step the right foot forward. Worry two. Open up. We go a little bit smoother. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, easy side angle pose. Take your left arm over the left ear. Sit even lower. Squeeze the left kneecap. Inhale, left arm up. Low lunge, left palm on the floor, left knee down, both arms up towards the ceiling. Pull your right heel and the left knee towards each other. At the same time, squeeze the left butt, push the hips slightly forward. Both arms up, go to your low lunge. Keep pulling the right heel into the left knee. Exhale, forward fold, hands on the floor, left foot forward. Stand up on the inhale, bring your both arms up. Exhale, palms to your heart center. Inhale, arms up. Forward, forward, exhale. 
Bend the knees, palms are pushing down. Work a hot back, chaturanga. Remember, chest cannot go lower than the butt. Squeeze the bum, chest up, squeeze the belly. Cobra, inhale, point toes. Downward facing, heels up, feet hip distance apart. Lower the heels down towards your left side. Make sure that right foot is pushing down. Hug your left thigh to the belly. Lean forward. Keep squeezing the left thigh towards the belly. Step the left foot forward. Warrior two, open up. You can adjust your feet when you come up. Reverse the warrior. Sweep the left arm up. Easy side in the pose. Right arm over the right. Your extended version. Right arm up. Right palm down, your low lunge. Both arms up to the ceiling. Squeeze your bums and pull the left heel towards the right knee. So engage, squeeze, square the hips. Pull the belly, arm is stretching high up to the ceiling. Squeeze your obliques. Exhale, forward fold, right foot step forward. Stand up on the inhale, both arms up. Exhale, palms to your heart center. Inhale, arms up. Forward fold, exhale. Vinyasa true, take your time. If you don't want to do the vinyasa, you just step back to your downward facing dog. Okay? So go to your downward facing dog. We stay here for five. Press down to your index and the thumbs and squeeze your elbows towards each other. Four. Three. Two. One, keep the feet hip distance apart. Now spin your heels down towards the right side. Hug your right knee in front of the belly. From here, you're going to push down to your right palm. Your left hand, grab the outer edge of the right foot. Okay, lower the hips down like a side plank. Extend the right leg forward. Point the right toes. Rebend the right knee. Step the right foot forward. Is this easier? For me, it's easier because I use my left hand to step my right foot forward. Okay, warrior to open up. Reverse the warrior. Go to your side and the post code. So go a little bit deeper, but if you need a block, feel free to use a block. Okay, so use the block so that you can open the front of the body. It's useless that if you want to go low and then you do this. So open up, pressing the left palm all the way up and back, squeeze the belly. Very good, low lunge, hands on the floor, left knee down, low lunge, bring your both arms up. Okay, squeeze the right heel, so move the right heel towards the left knee, sit a little bit deeper with the bums and get open the elbows out to the side like cactus arms. Puff the chest up, pull the belly in. Exhale, release forward, fold, left foot step through. Stand up on the inhale, bring your both arms up. Exhale, palms to your heart. Inhale, arms up. Make the floor fluid like water. Exhale, bow. Vinyasa, true. We meet at downward facing dog. Feet hip distance apart. Lift the heels up. Spin your heels down towards your left. Okay, from here, make sure that right foot is grounded and pushing down. Hug your left thigh to your belly first and use the right hand to grab the outer edge of the left foot. So think of doing a side plank, lower down your hips, extend the left leg up to the side, point your left toes, see how you feel. Then we bend the left knee, step the left foot forward, warrior two, press fully, come up. Reverse the warrior. Side angle pose, go deeper or use the block. Don't be shy to use the block, I love my block. Reach your right arm up, so instead of sinking down towards your left side, I want you to press the back of the right hand all the way back. Now squeeze the right knee care. And exhale, low lunge, hands on the floor, right knee down, rise up to your low lunge. Putting your both legs towards each other, push the hips forward and down just a little bit. Bend the elbows out to the side, kick the arms. Squeeze the belly, pop the chest open. And forward, forward, exhale, right foot step forward. Stand up on the inhale, arms up. Exhale, palms to heart. Inhale, arms up. Forward, forward, vinyasa, true, take your time.
Go to your downward facing dog. We stay here for five breaths. Okay? Breathe for five. Catch your breath. Four. Three. Two. One. Feet hip distance apart. Heels high. Spin your heels down towards the right side. Hug your right thigh to the belly so the right foot is hovering. Use your left hand to grab the outer edge of the right foot. Now lean the shoulders until your shoulders are stacked above the right hand. Extend the right leg. Bring the right leg a little bit higher. Squeeze the belly. Bend the right knee. Step it forward. Warrior two. Open up. Reverse the warrior. Side angle pose. Sit lower. Sit lower. From here, three core nasana, straighten the right leg. Again, if you need a block, please use the block, okay? Please use the block. If not, place the right hand on the right ankle. Press the back of the left palm all the way back. Squeeze the belly. Tighten your both kneecaps. Breathe for five. Take your right outer hip back. Four. Three. Two. White legged forward four. Turn the right toes in. Hands on the floor. Now inhale, lengthen. I want you to look forward first. Walk your fingertips forward. At the same time, send the hips all the way back. So no weight on your hands, okay? Walk your hands forward. No weight on the hands. At the same time, push the hips all the way back. Shock your shoulders now. Squeeze your kneecaps. Are you squeezing your kneecaps? Now the sitting bones pull away from each other. Breathe for three. Two. And one. Come to your pyramid pose. From here, easy. Turn the right toes forward. Both legs straight. Feel free to shorten the stance if you need to. Fingertips on the floor. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow. So when you bow towards your right leg, I don't want to see this. I want to see this. So the spine is lengthening forward. Micro bending the right knee is fine. Squeeze the right glutes. Take your right outer hip back. And release, step the left foot forward, complete the forward fold. Bend the knees, chair pose. You know I love chair pose. Send the bums all the way back. Draw your ribs in, not tucking the tailbone too much. Forward, forward, exhale, vinyasa, true, take your time. Good, feet heel distance apart, lift the heels up, lower the heels down towards your left. Bend the left knee, keep the left foot hovering, use the right hand to grab the outer edge of the left foot. Lean forward now, extend the left leg out to the side, push down to your right foot, now can you lift the left leg a little bit higher? Bend the left knee, step the left foot forward, warrior two, open up. Reverse the warrior. Side angle pose. Press the right palm back. Take your left outer hip under and go back. And from here, try to stay in the same distance. You slowly straighten the left leg. Trikonasana triangle pose. If this is too much for you, you move the right foot slightly forward. Squeezing the both kneecaps. Pull the belly in. And from here, you come to your Passerita. So, white legged forward fold. Send your hips all the way back. Walking your hands forward. Inhale, lengthen. So, think of lengthening and slightly arching the back. Exhale, lower the chest down towards the floor. So, don't think of lowering your forehead down. Lowering your chin and the chest down instead. Squeeze your legs, send the bums all the way back. No weight on your hands, okay? Breathe for five. Shoulders are back, four. Three. Two. And one. From here, you're going to turn towards your left side, go to your pyramid pose. So the all ten toes turning towards the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Belly goes down first instead of the forehead. Feel free to readjust the feet or micro bend the left knee if you need to. Squeeze your kneecaps. Look forward. Good. Forward fold. Right foot step forward. Complete the forward fold. 
bend the knees, chair pose. Hips are going back, squeeze your ribs in, pull the belly button in. Press the arms a little bit higher up to the ceiling. Good, forward, forward vinyasa, true, take your time. Stay in the downward facing dog, we stay here for five breaths. So readjust, catch your breath. Find a grounding sensation from the palms and the feet again. Try to squeeze the elbows towards each other. Now, feet hip distance apart, lift the heels up. Spin your heels down towards the right side. We're going to do the same thing, hovering the right foot up, hug the right thigh to the belly. Your left hand, grab the outer edge of the right foot, extend. Bring it slightly forward. Bend the right knee, step it forward now. Warrior two, open up. Reverse the warrior. Stay in your reverse warrior. Can you straighten the right leg in your reverse warrior? And trikonasana from here. Reach the right hand forward and down, left arm pressing up and back. Your side angle pose, bend the right knee. Right hand inside the right foot, sit lower. Okay, keep the right palm pushing down. Can you straighten the right leg again? Go to your trikonasana without leaning forward, without leaning towards your left side actually. Press your upper back all the way towards the right side of the room. Squeeze the right kneecap. And from here, your passerita. Turn your right toes in, both hands on the floor. Walk your hands forward. Roll the shoulders down, inhale, lengthen. Squeeze your kneecaps. Exhale, chin lower down, not the forehead. So keep looking forward, lower the chin and the chest down. Breathe for three. Shoulders are back, two. And one. Turn to the right side, your pyramid pose. Feel free to adjust the feet, okay? Lengthen the spine, inhale. If you need the block, please use the block like this. Your left outer hip is going forward, squeezing your both kneecaps. Breathe. And forward, full release, left foot step forward. Bend the knees, chair pose. Forward, full vinyasa, true. Go through your vinyasa. And bring your feet hip distance apart with the heels up. Spin your heels down towards your left. Hovering the left foot off the floor. Use the right hand to grab the outer edge of your left foot. Then you're going to extend the left leg forward. So you're going to lower down the hips. Okay, bring it slightly forward if you can. Push down to your right foot. Bend the left knee. Step the left foot forward, warrior two, open up. Reverse the warrior. Stay in the reverse warrior, pull the belly in. Can you straighten the left leg? So squeeze the left knee cap. Trikonasana, reach forward and down. Press the back of the right palm back. Open the chest towards the ceiling. Take your left outer hip back as well at the same time. Bend the left knee, your side angle pose. Keep the left palm flat onto the floor. So you have to sit lower. Pull the belly in, press the right thigh bone back. From here, three corners and now one more time. So squeeze your legs, open the chest. Good, your passerita, hands on the floor, your white leg forward fold, okay? Press down to the outer edge of the feet. Send the bumps all the way back, walk your hands forward. Pull the shoulders down. Now see if you can go a little bit deeper. Lowering your chin down towards the floor. Breathe for three, two, one, pyramid pose, walk your hands forward towards your left leg, readjust the feet, all ten toes pointing forward, take your right outer hip forward, inhale, lengthen, 
And if, if you can bow your bow without rounding the back too much, okay? Squeeze the belly, hold. Push down to your right foot more. And release forward for right foot step forward. Bend the knees, chair pose. Forward fold vinyasa true. Take your time. Stay in your dog for five deep breaths. Now keep the feet hip distance apart, lift the heels up. Spin your heels down towards the right. Hug your right thigh in. So keep the right foot hovering. And grab, extend, move it forward halfway. Push, bend the right knee, step the right foot forward. Perfect. Warrior two, open up. Are you guys playing some music now? Reverse the warrior inhale. Straighten the right leg, go to your Trikonasana in your reverse warrior. Tighten the left knee, cap more. Trikonasana, reach forward and down. And remember, this is your own practice. There's no competition, so don't need to compare yourself with someone else, okay? Now bend the right knee, place the right hand inside the right foot, keep the right palm flat onto the floor. So now I'm going to add on something with the shoulders. Reach your left arm up. Bend your left elbow. Can you touch your shoulder blade with the left palm? So this left triceps is going closer towards your face or your ear. Then from here, try not to lean forward like this. Take your right other hip back. Feel more opening from the front of the body. Okay, breathe for five. Squeeze your legs. Four, three, two. Keep the left arm like this. Can you straighten the right leg, go to your trikonasana. So squeeze your both legs. Turn your chest up towards the ceiling. Breathe for three, two, and one. Left arm up. Come to your pasarita, turn your right toes in. Now in your pasarita, move the feet six inches away from each other. Okay, tighten your kneecaps so if your legs become jelly already, you don't go too much. Yeah, you don't go too far. Walk your fingertips forward, same stand, stand the pelvis all the way back. Now, after you widen the feet a little bit wider, maybe you can go down a little bit more. I know some of you are quite flexible. Rest the chest on the floor. Here, breathe. Three, squeeze your kneecaps. Two. And one, walk your palms in pyramid pose, readjust the feet. Remember, no injuries, no feeding your ego, okay? But if you can go, if you can go that far, go. Pyramid pose, press on to the right leg, chest forward. Now, first option, you keep your fingertips on the floor. Second option, you're going to bring your arms alongside the body like an aeroplane. Third option, hold on to your opposite elbows behind you, so your a forearms here can kind of like press down onto your spine to lift the chest up. Now at all times, squeeze your both kneecaps. Breathe for three, two. Okay, release your hands first. Left knee to the nose, round the spine. Okay, micro bend the right knee. Send the hips all the way back. Can you extend the left leg forward? Point the left toes. If you can lift the left foot off the floor, lift. Knees are touching, fingertips on the floor, float the left leg a little bit higher towards the belly. Feet together, forward fold. Lengthen and prepare. Vinyasa true or just downward facing dog, your choice. Alright, your choice. And let's do the left side. Heels are up, spin your heels down towards your left. Hovering the left foot out. Grab the outer edge of the left foot, lower down your hips, extend the left leg forward. Bring it halfway forward, squeeze the right kneecap. Then you step the left foot forward. Warrior two, open up. Reverse the warrior, straighten the left leg, tighten your both kneecaps. Trikonasana. 
press back, left outer hip going back as well. And from here, bend the left knee. So go to your side angle pose. Bend your right elbow. Touch the base of the neck or your shoulder blades using the right palm. And squeeze the right elbow behind your ear. Press the chest. Press your upper back all the way back and turn the chest up towards the ceiling. Breathe. Slowly straighten the left leg. Go to your three core nasana with the arm like this. Squeeze your kneecaps. Rotate your torso up towards the ceiling. So try. Try. Good. Right arm reaches up. And go to your pasarita. White legged forward fold. Okay, widen your feet. Fingertips on the floor. Send the hips all the way back. And sometimes people will ask me like, how would you feel? Feel your inner groins and your hamstrings. Your inner hamstrings, yeah? Chest down, eyes looking forward. Squeeze your kneecaps for three. Send the hips all the way back. Two. One. Walk your palms back. Wiggle your feet in. Pyramid pose at the top of your mat. So find your pyramid pose first. Square the hips, take the right outer hip forward, squeezing through your kneecaps. Lengthen, roll the shoulders down. First option, you stay here. Second option, arms alongside the body like an aeroplane. Third option, hold onto your opposite elbows. So use your forearms to press onto your middle back to pop the chest forward. Then you try to bow your upper body down towards the left leg. Breathe. Very good release. Float the right leg up, knee to nose. So squeeze the knees together, pull the belly in, round the back. Can you extend the right leg forward? It's like your hands or your fingertips almost lift off the floor. You push down to the left foot, send the hips back, and you float the right foot up. Good, feet together, forward fold. Bend the knees, chair pose. Vinyasa, true, take your time. Alright, we stay here for five deep breaths. Breathe for five, four, three, two. Feet hip distance apart, heels up, spin your heels down towards the right side. Now I'm going to give you options, okay? First option, so you know that we are going to do this, all this thing, right? If you know that you cannot bring the right leg forward too much, you can always put the left knee down, left toes tucked behind you, so you can extend, okay? And when you extend, you try to peek underneath the left armpit, like this, okay? Okay, let's try, so left knee down or not. Right foot in your left palm, extend the right leg. Like a Vishpa Mitrasana, move the right foot forward. Pick underneath the left armpit. Bring the right leg higher. Bend the right knee, step through. Good job. Warrior two over now. Widen the stance, sit low, right thigh parallel to the floor. Reverse the warrior. Go straight to your side angle pose. Right hand down, left arm up. Now sit low and bring your left palm to touch the right knee behind you. Oh, what if I almost can touch? Bend the right elbow. Bend the right elbow so that your left fingers can touch the right knee behind you. Then turn your chest up by pressing this right upper arm against the right knee. Hold. Good. Left arm up to the ceiling. Trikonasana. Straighten the right leg. Don't move the feet. Squeeze your kneecaps. From here, before we come to your prasarita, you place the left palm down, left knee on the floor. Okay, so the right foot is outside the right hand. You're going to move the right foot diagonally out towards around the top of the right side here. So your right knee should be facing to your right armpit. 
chest on the floor. Use the right hand to grab the right foot. Can you pull the right leg towards your chest more? Okay, don't move your body away from the right leg. Body and the right leg moving towards each other. Here. Okay, you're going to stay here. If you can fully extend your both legs, I want you to squeeze the right kneecap. Flex the toes. Squeeze the right kneecap. Hold. Breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two. Listen. Left elbow on the floor. Right hand still grabbing onto the other edge of the right foot. Roll onto your left side. Extend the right leg up. Pull the right thigh in towards the right shoulder. Point your left toes. So you look like this. Point your left toes. Can you float the left foot off the floor? Breathe. And from here, you're going to take your right leg forward again. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of frame. Take your right leg forward again. Use your hands or not. Come to your half split or full split. So I'm going to try my best to see how long can I go. I'm going to use the block. So half split is here. Full split, go as low as you can. Right. I'm slightly more open today. Now breathe, pull the belly in, squeeze your bums. Five, four, three, two. Release. Drag the right foot in. Downward facing dog, step back. Okay, stay in the downward facing dog. Can you feel that uh, the right leg is longer? Yes, yeah. And from here, feet hip distance apart. Spin your heels down towards your left side. You know what to do already. Hovering the left foot up, use the right hand to grab the left foot. Right knee down or not. Extend, move it forward. Pick underneath the right armpit. Then step the left foot forward. Warrior two, open up. Reverse the warrior. Go straight to your side angle pose. So I'm going to show you the back side. Side angle pose. Keep the left palm flat. Sit even lower. You have to sit low, okay? Press onto the outer edge of your right foot. Reach your right arm up. Bend the right elbow. And grab your left knee behind you. If you can touch, bend your left elbow. And push your left knee up of the way. Slowly reach your right arm up, right hand on the floor. And from here, you're going to slide the left foot up towards the top left corner of your mat. Boop, and down. Okay, my left side is tighter. So be careful if you know that um, if you're right-handed, normally the left side is tighter. Okay, chest on the floor. Use your left hand to grab the outer edge of the left foot. Push the left knee up, move it closer towards your body. Then you're going to stay here, flex your left toes, see how you feel. Don't move away from your left leg, move closer to your left leg. Okay, breathe for three, two, one. From here, come on your elbows. You're going to roll onto your right side, bring your left leg up to the ceiling. Now you'll notice that whenever you bring the leg towards the body, the left knee always face towards your body, yeah? And from here, point the right toes, float the right foot up, balance, breathe. Okay, ready? You're going to bring the left leg down towards the floor. Use the right elbow to push. Use the left hand to push. Go to your half split or full split. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle is fine, yeah? So I'm going to use my block. Half split is here. As long as you feel good. Full split depends. See my left side a bit cha cha. Hold it. Breathe for five, four, 
three, two, one. Hands on the floor. Move the left foot back. Downward facing dog, step back. Woo. Now both legs are equally longer. Stay in the downward facing dog. We're gonna try one more time, Beach Bami Trasana, supported or without support, okay? So now for the supported version, please put the left knee on the floor, yeah, for the right side. Now feet hip distance apart, spin the heels down towards the right side. Use the right palm to push, hovering the right foot up. Hold onto the outer edge of the right foot. Extend, bring it forward, peek underneath the left armpit. Then bend the right knee, step it forward. Warrior two, open up, sit long. Reverse the warrior. Side angle pose. Okay, you know how well you can go already. Bend the right elbow slightly. Left arm reaches back. Hold on to your right knee and use the right upper arm to push the right knee up. Okay, first option here. Second option, your right arm gonna go underneath the right hamstring. Come into your cow face bind. So bind like a cow face. Oh, I almost reach. Sit lower. If you cannot bind, it's fine, yeah? You're still a good person. <laughs> Stay for three, two, one. Good job, release. Come to your pasarita now. Turn your right toes forward. Move the right foot out as much as you can. Keep the hands on the floor. Now you'll notice that the right knee are fa all facing forward because the outer edge of the feet are pressing down. And from here, go and find your maximum split that you can hold. Maybe here, remember I told you, don't push too much if you have hamstrings issue, but if you can go a little bit lower, elbows on the floor. Try to go as low as you can, as low as you can. Squeeze your kneecap, sitting bones away from each other. Breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. Hands down. Go to your split on the right side. So spin the right heel in, left heel up. Go to your full split. Now in this full split version, you can stack the shoulders above the hips or you can bow forward, whatever that you feel like doing, okay? So we stay here, find your split first. Breathe for three, two, don't release yet. Walk the palms in, place the palms below the shoulder. Now left palm is going to push down. Prepare for your side plank with the right foot up. So spin the left heel down, reach your right leg up, push. Okay? Keep the right foot hovering, right hand down, chaturanga with the right leg hovering. Cobra with the right leg hovering. Three leg dog, right leg up and back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, right knee, right armpit. Put the right foot beside, behind the right palm. From here, you're gonna sit up, okay? Second option is Kundiyasana. So first option, you stay here, stick the right knee behind the right triceps, bend the elbows like the Chaturanga. Second option, open the right leg out to the side. Your Kundiyasana. After that, vinyasa true. Yeah? Now the left side. Heels up. Spin your heels down towards your left side. Hovering the left foot up. Supported version. Put the right knee down. Right toes tuck behind you. Use your right hand to grab the outer edge of the left foot. Now everybody extend. Bring it forward, pick underneath the right armpit, squeeze the left kneecap, step it forward. Warrior two, open up. Reverse the warrior. Your side angle pose, sit a little bit lower so widen the stance more. Here. 
Your right arm is going up. Bend the right elbow behind the ear and touch your shoulder blade. Bend your left elbow now so that you can touch your left knee behind you. Okay? Then your left arm, trip underneath the left hamstring and see if you can bind. Oh, my left side can bind. So cow face bind, sit low, pull the belly in, press the chest back. Breathe for three. Two. And one. Release. Come to your pasarita. Open the feet as wide as you can. Alright. Now, you know what to do. Elbows down or not. Pull your kneecaps. Push your hips back. Breathe. For five. Four. Three. Chest forward, yeah? Two. One. Then... Place the palms on the floor, turn towards your left side. Lower the right knee down and turn the left toes up towards the ceiling. Half split or full split. Hands on the floor or you can bow your upper body down. Yeah, Whichever that you feel like doing. Good. Place the palms below the shoulders. You're going to push down to your right hand a lot. Go to the side plank with the left foot reaching up. Okay? So use your left hand to hook onto the left big toe. Spin the right heel down. Extend the left leg up. Good. Hips higher. Release. Chaturanga with the left leg hovering. Cobra with the left leg hovering. Three leg dog with the left leg up. Step the left foot behind the left palm. Now set up. You can just try to find your chaturanga with the left knee resting on the left triceps. Or your kundiyasana. And vinyasa true. Okay, lower your knees down. I'm going to ask you to turn to one side so that your knees are on your sticky mat. We're going to come to your frog pose. So, knees are opening out to the side as much as you can. Lower the elbows down towards the floor. And you look left and right. Make sure that your heels are in line with the knees and the toes are pointing out. Okay, we do cat cow here. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Can you feel that? Can you feel that? Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Okay, arch. Listen. Your right knee on the floor. Extend the left leg up. That's it. Okay, push the left foot a little bit further. And make sure that the left toes always point forward, yeah? Breathe for five. Four, three, squeeze your lean left knee cap, two, and once. Slowly, carefully, lower the left knee down, move the left foot back. Okay, extend the right leg out to the side. And try to move the right foot away from your left knee with the elbows on the floor. Squeeze the right knee cap, feel your inner groin stretching, hold. Squeeze the right knee cap, five, four, yes. Why? Three, two, and one. Back to your frog pose. Just bend the right knee, be careful. Move the right foot in. And from here, put your palms on the floor. You're going to sit on your heels. So bring the feet together, sit on the heels. Bring the knees together. Open the legs up to the side. Open as much as you can. And then from here, place one hand in front of the hip, one hand behind you. Don't move the feet anymore. Just move the hips forward. Then you widen the legs up a little bit. Okay, so go to the maximum. Yes, so go to the maximum. This is my maximum. Squeeze your kneecaps, pull the belly in. Inhale. Exhale, lean halfway forward. Hands on the ground or not up to you. Squeeze your kneecaps. Now push down to your sit bones. Think of squeezing your bones and use your bones muscles to push down towards the ground. 
okay? Now, roll your upper body forward and see if you can lower the big toes down towards the floor. Like me, I almost touched, but I don't want to force it too much, yeah? Inhale, upper body up. Exhale, lean forward. Lower the big toes down as close as you can towards the floor. Inhale up. And exhale. Now for the next one, you can hold here or you can use the right hand, place it behind you and push. As you lean forward, you come into your split. Okay, squeeze the kneecaps. So take your time, come up to your split if you can. And from here, we stay here for three. Two, go to your right side split. Left knee down the knot. Go to your full split. Hold. Okay, you're gonna turn towards your left side. Left knee up, toes are down. Go to your left side, put the right knee down first. Then you go. Good. Turn towards the right side. Left toes down, right heel down. And go as low as you can. Okay, breathe for five. Just five counts. Four, three, two, hands on the floor. We get your feet in. And lower the knees down, sit on your heels. Woo. Sit up tall, sit bones pressing against your heel bones. Roll the shoulders down, take a deep breath in. Exhale, twist towards the right side, place the right palm behind the low back. And you can look over the right shoulder. Back to the center, inhale, twist towards the left side. Look over your left shoulder. Back to the center, lean over to one side and lay down on your back now. Hug your thighs to your belly. Your happy baby pose, opening your knees out to the side. So since you're quite open already, feel free to extend the legs to lower the toes down towards the floor, if you can. Okay, open the legs out to the side, lower the toes down towards the floor. Bring the sit bones away from each other, squeeze your kneecaps, squeeze your kneecaps, and release. Good job. Sukta Bada Konasana, feet together on the floor, knees open to the side. And bring your knees together. Open the feet up to mat distance apart with the knees touching. Alright. You can stay here. Or go to your Shavasana. The time is already almost up, so it's time for me to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed the practice. Um, today is kind of like a slow Vinyasa 2 version. Okay, I'm going to turn on the commenting. Alright, I hope your legs are okay. I hope your hamstrings are okay. You can continue to practice a few more front split or side split and rest in your frog pose for three minutes if you have time. If you have time, okay? I'm sure you have time, right? And then after that, you do a twist. Um, and then after that, you can do some pigeon pose. Okay, I'm going to see you on Saturday, my core class. I have something special for you. Okay, have a beautiful day. I'm going to go now. I'm going to log off now. Bye, guys. See you.